unnaturally silent. And I looked up from staring at the floor, and I saw Jesus standing in the room. You're listening to the Divine Now podcast. This is the first one in about 10 years. And I've decided to tell my own story today, rather than just interview other people. I was raised in a wonderful, loving home. At the age of 25, someone explained Jesus to me in a way that really gripped my heart. However, there was no foundation, no root for me as to how to live. I didn't go to church, never had. I tried to read the Bible, but that book doesn't make a whole lot of sense to a natural mind. But I like to pray. I really like to pray. God liked to listen, apparently, and I like to talk. So we had a good deal going there. But I didn't know how to live. And I had already been a heavy drinker. I played in bands. I worked construction. I was married. All that began to unravel just after my 29th birthday. The drinking and the shenanigans around it began to take its toll. My wife left me. My band broke up. I still had a job, but only because I worked for my parents. I owned a small recording studio in this funky 1930s auto garage, and I had an apartment. And after work, I didn't want to go back to the apartment. Without my wife there, it was just too empty and and just reminded me of everything that was bad. So I would go back to the apartment, take a shower after work, go grab a 12-pack and go to the recording studio because I could sit in the tracking room where all the musicians play on the floor and drink. And I had learned through years of drinking that if you sit on the floor while you drink, you are much less likely to fall and hurt yourself. So this one night, I was most of the way through a 12-pack. It was later in the evening. I I should explain that Every room makes sound. Every room makes noises. Your computer makes noise. The lights make noise. Your refrigerator has a certain tone, a sound. The reflections of the walls. Everything makes sound. As the person who had built this recording studio, I knew exactly what the room sounded like. And as I sat there on the floor drinking, my room went absolutely dead quiet unnaturally so. And I was staring at the floor and I looked up and there was Jesus. He had a compassionate face, brown curly hair. He was wearing a robe. This was not a ghost. This was a person standing in the room. He looked at me and he said, there's something I want to show you. And next to him was a swirling cloud of dark, dirty smoke. It was about the same height, about the same width, just sort of suspended there. I have no other recollection of the evening. It's it's gone. I woke up the next morning, I put it down to a bad dream, and I went to work. I get off work the next day, I go home, take a shower, grab a 12-pack, go back to the studio, sit down on the floor. I have a two or three beers, not that much, and suddenly the room goes quiet again, and I instantly remember what happened the night before. Now I'm afraid, very afraid. I'm staring at the floor. I don't want to look up. I can't help myself. I look up to see Jesus standing in the room, and he looks me in the eye, and he says, there is something I want to show you. Next to him is the same thing as the night before. Dirty, ugly, swirling smoke. It reminds me of the look of a cancer patient's lungs. I closed my eyes as tight as I could close them. My whole body tensing up. I curled up into a ball on the floor and I forced myself to stay in that position until I fell asleep. The next morning I wake up. I remember now. I remember both nights vividly. I am terrified. And I am like, Mark, you dumbass, you finally drove yourself insane with your stupidity. This is great. You're going to just go to an asylum now. 
all day long, everywhere I looked, I was looking for random Jesus and just frightened. But since I am no quitter, I got off work that night. I got cleaned up, bought a 12 pack, went back to the studio and sat down. And I'm listening to the crickets. And remember, it's summer, so I'm listening to the crickets, the birds, the lights, the refrigerator, the air conditioner every once in a while. I open up a beer. I set it down. It's very cold. I set it down, and I'm watching the condensation go down the side of the can on the floor. I haven't had a drop of it. I'm just watching it. And suddenly it goes quiet. Absolutely dead quiet. I look up, same Jesus, same dark, ugly smoke, and I trembled and managed to stutter out, Lord, what is that? He said, that's your soul. I could feel what felt like a, uh, it felt like a baseball bat had just slammed me straight in the chest. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't, I couldn't move. I was choking. I was panicked. And then the tears. And I suddenly breathed. And then I got crawled onto all fours and just bawled my eyes out and cried and snot flailing everywhere, laying on the floor. You're listening to the Divine Now podcast. I'm Mark Archambault. May the Lord bless and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you.